hello everyone i'm in the van i'm at a campsite in the lake district currently this is the first time i've spoken today other than like talking to my dogs because i've just had a really lazy day here at the campsite it's very hot at the moment the uk is having a heat wave and a drought it's really been quite hot today um so i told myself that my main focus of today was just to keep the dogs cool and calm because yesterday we were traveling a lot and the dogs got quite hot and i hate it when my dogs get hot especially quentin um midge too but quentin he's got a flat face so he can't cool himself down as well as midge can with his big snoot i'm just always really conscious of trying to keep them cool and comfortable so yeah we've just been hanging at the campsite today haven't really done much, very much at all been reading lots um and that's about it actually just reading <laughs> not too much to report. I was going to make a video today and I guess I kind of am. I just didn't want to film. I don't know. I'm... <sighs> These past few weeks have been a lot. I've had like a lot on our plate and um, just like filming on top of it just seems like a bit too much and also I don't really know what to say or what to update people on. I just don't know how to start filming again other than filming patreon videos i just don't know what kind of content i want to make we're going through this big like change in how we live our lives so my head's kind of all over the place and i don't know what i want to present to the world via the medium of video we're going to our friends for dinner tonight i think and tomorrow for me will be much of the same it will just be me at the campsite this isn't really the kind of campsite that we would normally want to go to it's just like beside a road and it's quite busy like a lot of uh, caravans there's just not really enough nature for me yeah but i guess like here's the van i haven't really shown it on youtube before patrons have already had like a tour of it um i don't know if i'm gonna do one for youtube maybe you'll you'll just see it in the background and you'll get used to it that way but yeah here's our beloved van it's not looking that tidy at the moment, but it's all right. It has everything we need. Here's the van. you can see it's a few days later from when I last filmed this is the week where I'm going to be embarking on single-handedly clearing out the house and packing the van um, it's our last week in the house Craig isn't here very much so it's just me doing it I never imagined that it would be this way I did think that it was going to be both of us planning this adventure together where to even begin I've got lists of things I need to do most of it is gonna be a lot of shifting boxes shifting things around i guess i'll just document the process of it and show you around um maybe i could start in this room in, in the studio because i've done quite a lot of yesterday i spent quite a lot of time organizing how everything was going up here and it feels a lot calmer here we have my tupperware box and this is going to be what i take in the van with me 
Um, it's full of like sketchbooks, notebooks, art supplies, receipts, things for posting stuff out. You see this pile of notebooks here, but I am actually going to be writing up all of the notes that are useful and storing them somewhere digitally. And then I've got a pile of paintings that I need to sort out. I think maybe they might go stay with family, but I might come back to them. Um, got my easel, got my scanner and some storage boxes. So yeah, that's mostly this room all cleared out and sorted. I know why I'm doing with everything. I know that these things over in this corner are gonna go into the van in the next day or two. I know that this box is going to a car which is gonna go drive down to family and stay there. I've decided after some dilly dallying I've decided to just get stuck into packing the van and the first thing we're going to start with is just packing all of our clothes because I know exactly where they're going to go in some lockers next to our bed so I guess I'll just start there and see how things go I've got four boxes I don't know if you can see yeah four boxes mine and Craig's clothes let's see how much of this we can fit in the van Being up here is not good when you have a a top knot. I'm actually up on our bed right now. You are in Craig's cupboard, but I'm going to be filling my cupboard next to it. Got coats, which I'm going to put somewhere else, not in the clothing locker. So, because I'm kind of like a jacket person, I really like to have a selection of jackets to wear. So I'm going to store them like above the cab. And that's everything full. Kind of satisfying. And then this is Craig's one, which is I've done slightly differently because he's a fan of packing cubes. So we've got one packing cube that's kind of gonna have all of its underwear in, and then one which has got all of his t-shirts in. A lot of his t-shirts are in the wash, so I need to roll them up and put them in. Definitely feeling a little bit overwhelmed today. Yesterday took so long to just pack those two cabinets and um, they're still not completely done and there's just so much other stuff to try and organise and I just feel like I'm not doing it as well as I could be but never mind and also I just don't know how things are going to work how things are going to fit in because some of the cupboards are stronger than others in terms of like staying closed so I need to work out where to put heavy stuff I think that's especially tricky to do in the kitchen areas because there's like lots of heavy cans and things and it would be a nightmare if things fell out and just spilled all over the floor so i'm going to try and avoid that i've got an old yoga mat and i'm going to cut some strips and line the bottom of these cupboards with it so, and that should stop things from slipping around oh, i'm just feeling so so overwhelmed today just like not ready <laughs> and scared but uh craig will be back this afternoon so i can share my fears with him I must admit I've been feeling quite stressed today, but I just did something that made me feel a bit better. I have reorganised our spice rack. It was filled with the previous owner's spices, but I have taken quite a few of them out and tipped them in the bin because they did smell a bit old and it wasn't what we would want to put in the spice rack. So I'm going to refill it with what we most cook with, the six spices uh, that we most cook with. So we've got smoked paprika first. 
in no particular order this is. Um, these are chilli flakes from the previous owner of the van, but um, we use a lot of chilli flakes. And turmeric, not really for the taste, more for the colour. I like it in um, tofu scramble. And then we've got garam masala. Um, I think this is like a mix of lots of different curry mixes actually, not just garam masala. Um, we've got some dried garlic, need to top up on this, should probably buy another pack to fill in here because we use, we get through a lot of that. And then last is black pepper. Mm, I don't know if this is going to stay in our spice rack. I brought Quentin in with me because I was feeling a bit lonely and um, for some reason the internet's not working too well in here today so I can't like put, I really wanted to just put some YouTube videos on and just chill out, pack without thinking too much because I feel a bit stressed today but um, yeah I can't I can't watch my YouTube vids but I do have my pug um, so it's nice to have him here. You would not believe how long this has taken me. Um, I've just done this part of the van, these drawers down here, these up here and then also under the cooker has been organised. I like this little basket here, it's got a couple of um, jars, like one of the a few jars that we're actually going to have in the van because most of it's going to be in plastic, most of our stuff's going to be stored in plastic just because it's lighter. I have some dried linden flowers from the linden tree and um, this makes really good tea. Uh, I dried these myself and then I also have some self-heal flowers and leaves that have been dried picked these myself as well and dried them and these also make also make a really good herbal tea i guess the theme of this basket is nutrition because then i've got um our multivitamins here that we take every day and then let's go up here for a bit so this is mostly where we're going to keep our toiletries uh i would like to make this a bit tidier at some point but for now it's okay so in this one I've just stored things that are quite light um, so hopefully they won't fall out as we drive along. Um, I'm hoping that this bit of yoga mat will help keep things from, stop things from slipping around but it's basically just like a tea section over here and a couple of Craig's running water bottle things, uh, an empty water bottle at the back there, some more tea, some more tea, so yeah. This is just the tea station. We'll figure out what to do with this area as we go along, I think. Morning, everyone. <clears throat> it's a brand new day. It's either the third or the fourth day in a row that I'm filming. So I'm going to be moving on to the next part of packing the van. And that is gonna be packing all of my art business stuff into the van. This has got quite a big question mark over it because Basically, we don't know how well our cupboards work when they're really stacked full of stuff. Like, we've only been on, like, little trips in the van, so the cupboards have never been full. Um, so I don't know how much they're going to open and stuff. So I don't really want to put things like my scanner, my easel, um, probably those things. Or also my laptop and my camera gear. Like, I don't want to put that somewhere where it could open and fall from a great height or something like that. So um, I need to work out where I'm gonna put things that are precious to me being able to earn a living. I've got horrible jobs to do today, like I've got to drag a washing machine down our drive. I'm, I don't have any strength, <laughs> um, so it's gonna be a real struggle for me. I'm also gonna be washing out our bins, which is gonna be gross and stinky. I also just wanted to say, today I feel better for some reason. I think it's because I, I let myself get up peacefully like I'm not the kind of person that can just jump out of bed and start doing stuff I need to wake up slowly it takes hours and if I have to get up out of bed and do loads of stuff really quickly I feel overwhelmed and it puts me in an awful mood so today I just woke up had breakfast did a few light chores wrote my to-do list updated some stuff on my laptop and I feel much more chill and in a much better mood I just think people have different pacings as well as you know like people are categorized on the introvert and extrovert scale i also think there might be i don't know if this is true or not but there might be like a slow to fast 
fast-paced scale. There's people out there who really thrive with a fast-paced life with a lot going on, lots of things happening all at once, like multitasking and experiencing things quickly and in a more accelerated way. Then on the other end of the spectrum, there's people that like to lead a very slow and simple life. And I'm definitely on that side of the spectrum. Um, I really need to live slowly. And if things become overwhelming and there's a lot going on and it's too fast paced for my liking, I really feel awful. Like it really affects my mental health. I can find myself in like being really moody and just feeling really discontented with life and just fit, just have this overriding feeling that I just really want everyone to leave me alone. And I think that's just because I want to make things slow down and just be at a pace that I'm, I feel comfortable at. So yeah, I'm one of the slow people. Which part of the spectrum are you on? The reason we want to live in such a small space is because we do want to live a simpler and slower life with less work and pressure and more time to read and be outside and the lead up to, to trying to achieve that life has just been the opposite. So I've got my box of art supplies. To be honest I think this big Tupperware is probably going to live in the garage but I know that there's going to be some days where I don't want to leave the van and I just want to be doing some art stuff in the morning before I get out of the van so I want stuff to be accessible from when I'm in here in this space um, so I am going to make a little part for it it's good to start with a container when you're start when you're packing out somewhere new I find this box is full of it's got lots of dog hairs in it probably want to put some paper pads up here as well got this out or used it yet so I don't know if it's any good I'm gonna like that or not, I can tell. It's not what I'm used to. We'll keep one pad in the van, in the inside van, I think. Got a couple of lovely sketchbooks. Here's the cupboard that I've finished packing very sparsely so far. Um, that's mostly because. I don't know how this cupboard's going to hold up when we travel, so I don't want to pack it too full. Um, but I've got this empty um, pen holder here that I just took because I thought I just took from the house because I thought maybe it'll be useful sometime. Like it kind of goes with the van. Like and maybe at a certain point I'd like to just have it out. This is where I'm going to store my desk easel. We've got this step which you lift up and um, there's like some space under here. So I'm gonna put my desk easel in here. It's got my paints in it. Um, I'm gonna put some paper here and uh, I'm gonna have to put something to just stop it from sliding all the way down. But I just feel like it's a good place to put it. I don't wanna put it up high in case it falls and all the paints go everywhere, blah, blah, blah. So I think that's a good spot. Thank you for joining me on these past few days of me packing stuff away. 
I've done the kitchen, I've done our bathroom, I've done our wardrobe, and I've done my office-y kind of bits. The next task for me would be to tackle the garage. We've got a couple of boxes that we're just going to slide in and out. I realised you don't want to see me clean out a bin. You don't want to see me cleaning out a wheelie bin. You don't want to see me struggling with a washing machine. Um, so I'm going to go now. If you want to see um, a more detailed video where I'm going to talk about all the supplies I'm bringing with me on the road, um, that's going to be a Patreon video. So you can go over there and watch that and that'll be available pretty soon. I'm going to share like all of my painting kit and kind of like what I imagined for the setup of me doing a day's work in here. Um, but yeah, that'll be over on Patreon and um, yeah, you can expect more videos from me coming soonish. Uh, it's just a very busy time in my life right now, so I'm struggling a bit with, with creating a YouTube schedule, but it will come. Yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for being here, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!